Hello, Anna. Uh, anyone else watching? Um, thank you for giving me the opportunity to uh, talk to you about this. I think this is a inspirational um, idea. I think it's uh, that's proven to be very helpful. I think it will give people all the comfort they are not alone. Um, I'm my name's Phil. I'm 61, retired IT project manager from Berkshire. Um, you asked what we thought about the media. Um, yeah, I haven't followed mainstream media for a very long time. Uh, it's propaganda, it's lies, um, and it's the BBC, I think, uh, showed their hand to the general public, the ordinary man in the street over Brexit and uh, they are not to be trusted, uh, neither is Sky. Um, I get all of my news now, um, from, well, predominantly from alternative sources. So, no, don't trust it. Um, Covid has done nothing other than reinforce my view that it's propaganda and lies and deceit. Um, Covid, yeah. Um, this isn't about a virus. I think many of my fellow contributors have alluded to various agendas, Agenda 21, that's part of it. It's all moving. Agenda 21 in itself is a stepping stone to where the elites, the 1%, want to be. Um, I won't go into oodles of detail, but I think we all know who they are. Uh, the people that run the central banks um, own all of the media assets, the films, and most of the politicians, it appears. Yes, they seem to hold all the aces. This is true. If you want to know more, my personal favourite source of much of that information is Michael Black, the ex-British Army military uh, intelligence officer. On a personal view, we knew it wasn't about the virus for the simple facts, and I'll allude to them now. They downgraded it from an HCID, High Consequence Infectious Disease, yet still locked down. Ferguson's, um, where do I start? Figures, projections, hopelessly, hopelessly uh, overstated. The man has never got any projection right in his uh, career, it seems, and some thousands of percent um, overstated. His programming skills torn to shreds. Still the lockdown continued. They carried on with the death rate, manipulating, massaging the figures. Still the lockdown continued. Andrew Mater, amongst many others, uh, Peerless Reads, did some excellent analysis proving the contagions are uh, a normal or log normal distribution and ours as is many around the world been peaked gone essentially over any change did lockdown restrictions get lifted no they just doubled down introduced mandatory mask wearing all over the place quarantine restrictions etc etc so clearly it's not about the virus Hydroxychloroquine, proven to work if used in the right concentrations with the right other ingredients, zinc and so forth. Rubbish, the so-called tests that they did, sabotaged. The PCR tests, again, absolutely torn to shreds, not designed to do that, don't work. All they do is pick up antibodies from many coronaviruses that have been and gone, doesn't pick up that you've got the live uh, disease. So it's not about the virus. My own um, experience, um, yeah, uh, I was up in shock, to be honest. I knew what agendas were being played out, the climate change and this one and, and all the rest of it, but this caught me by surprise, I have to say. Didn't think they'd do it quite in this way. 
and you have to give the devil his due they're playing a blinder you know they've had a long time to think about it but yeah i didn't see this one just came at me from the outfield you know completely took me by surprise but it became very apparent um that that's what it was um honestly saying you know i it's depressed me and i've managed to depress my wife and drag her down uh talking about it because if they win what they've got planned for us and the rest of humanity is very dark and i don't mind admitting we you even talked about well if it gets that bad wouldn't it be best just to end it i don't want to live in that dystopian state um and i don't think many people would either so we have to fight back we have to fight this thing this really is our last chance um other personal examples um i'm very fearful now that uh what my government could do uh, to me and to the country the veil has been lifted the gloves are off um, I think it could get very very nasty indeed uh, definitely very fearful what else um, because I won't consent to these draconian restrictions the mask wearing the sanitizing uh, the social distancing the temperature checking etc etc and i certainly will not be having any bloody vaccine um, am i going to be denied access to services you know travel entertainment but particularly medical case in point i have um, glaucoma uh, I think caused by taking statins for angina attack that I had several years ago but the pressures have to be tested every six months if they rise corrective action has to be taken if not I will go blind uh, that's no exaggeration um, I've already had to go private because the NHS could not guarantee seeing me every six months to check them that's been stopped um, I'm over three months overdue I know when they restart and I think they're just about to do so they are going to ask me to wear a mask and sanitize and have my temperature taken and God knows what else I don't consent to that I don't see there's any need for it the virus is gone it wasn't an existential threat when it was here um, I'm not putting anyone's life at risk uh, and I'm not consenting to their brainwashing and their manipulation. I know many will say, well, when you're doing it to yourself, well, I beg to differ, but there we go. Um, I think that's a big issue. Um, I'm also um, an NHS audiology volunteer. Uh, we used to go out, I trust we go out to predominantly old people or people in care homes, people that can't get to the drop-in clinics and do the basic maintenance on their moulds and their tubes and so forth um, that's all been stopped um, somebody did call me the other day and said could I go out well to cut a long story short I did end up going out there and cleared it with him that he was okay we took the appropriate precautions he didn't want to wear a mask didn't want me to wear a mask so we didn't didn't have to get too close to him sanitise as always and one satisfied customer um i tried tried to query that and check it out with the audiology people i report to but no answer so i just did it off my own back and um you know probably be charged with attempted murder now rather than doing a good deed but we, we are in clown world aren't we okay um i'm getting very close to over running here so I'll, I'll wrap it up very quick want to have a big shout out to uh, UK Colin, Michael Blatt I've already said, amazing Polly, Dr Vernon Coleman, um, uh, Politico, there are many many others out there and I'd like to leave on a happy note if I may and check out, um, I think his name is Andrew Lawrence and uh, the comedian and one of his characters, I hope I got this right, Sergeant Comfortable Officer Detective 
Peter Pisspot of Twat Valley Police. And on that note, it's evening all, or good night from me, and good night from him. Good night.